I have here a simple web page. It's got a heading, a couple paragraphs, an unordered list, a bullet list, a couple other formatting elements. Here's what the web page looks like. It's not that interesting. It's just got some plain text. It's all in black with a white background. Let's use CSS or style sheets to jazz it up a little bit. Do this by creating a style tag, both the opening and closing, inside of the head of the document. And then between those two style tags, you're going to type in a style that applies to a particular tag. For example, if we want to modify the look of the H1 tag, we'll type H1 space curly brace. Now my editor puts in the other, the closing curly brace for me, but you have to type both of them, the opening and the closing. And then a property like color colon, and then the value for the property such as red, and then a semicolon, and that marks the end of the style. So the way you do a style is the name of the tag, an opening curly brace, the name of an attribute, a colon, the value for that attribute, and then a semicolon and a closing curly brace. Let's save this, refresh the page, and we see that the heading has changed into red. We could also change the font. After the semicolon, we'll type in font-family, colon, and the name of a font, like Verdana, and then the semicolon. Save it, refresh, and the heading is changed into a different font. Let's apply a style to a different tag. How about those names of the foods, pizza and ramen and udon? Those are the strong tags inside of my HTML. So on the next line, I'll type strong, opening brace, and let's put those in purple. We'll save it, refresh, and you can see they've changed into a purple font. We can also specify a color using the RGB values as six hexadecimal digits. We'll type hash mark, and then I'll just make up a random color like 98FC54. I'm not sure what that color that is, but let's find out. So we'll save, refresh, and it looks like it's kind of a light green. How about applying some styles to that bullet list at the bottom? we can change the way each one of those bullets looks. Like right now they are uh, solid circles, we can take, make them be open circles. So this style applies to the list item. We can go list-style colon circle semicolon. Save and refresh and you can see those bullet lists have changed. There's all sorts of styles you can apply to your document. Here's a couple more. How about putting a box around that list? So that's the whole list. We want to put a box around the whole list. And we'll go border dash style colon dotted. Save it and refresh. And now there's a box around the whole thing. One question you might be asking is, what would happen if we applied that border style to just the list item? Let's try that. Let's take out this style and instead apply it to the list item. Border style colon dotted semicolon. Save it. And we'll see that each individual list item gets a border around it. So you need to apply the style to the tag that encompasses the entire thing that you want to change. Let's put it back the way it was. So we'll take out this border style on the list item and we'll put it back for the whole list itself. Border style dotted. Save. Refresh and we see. Now that's back to what we wanted. How about filling in that box? We can we can set the color of that. So we'll say background dash color. And let's pick something obnoxious like yellow. Save it. Refresh. And you can see that whole box is now filled in with yellow. And let's just do a couple more things as an example. How about setting the color of the entire background? So to set the color of the entire background of the entire content area, that is the body tag. 
So we'll say body background color. And how about gray? Save it. Refresh. Oh, man, that looks really bad. How about something different? Like, um, let's try let's try a light gray. So that might be, say, 202020. Oh, that's dark. Um, how about maybe CC, CC, and another C? Oh, there we go. That's a, that's a lighter gray. The, the last style I'm going to show you is how to change maybe the width of the border. So let's go to this border style here, and we can go border-width, colon, and then you specify the width in, uh, probably a good one would be in pixels. So right now it's a one or two pixel. Let's make it like a five pixel. So you type 5px, and you save it, and refresh, and you can see that border just got bigger. So there are some ideas for things that you can do to a document. All you have to do is create a style section inside of the head of your document, and then individually list out the name of the tag, and then in curly braces, put the name of an attribute, colon, and its value, semicolon, save the document, refresh it, and see what effect that had on your document.